Welcome to building a monarch habitat. To make the habitat, you will need the following materials. Tomato cage, tool fabric, clothes pins, masking tape, needle, thread, and cardboard disc. The first step is to tear off a piece of masking tape about four to six inches long. Place the string of tape close by so that you can reach it easily as you work on the tomato cage. As you build the habitat, it is best to work together with a teammate. Place the tomato cage on a table with the largest ring sitting on the table. You will first bend the top bars of the tomato cage across the smallest circle and down against a side bar. As your partner holds the bar securely, tape the bar to keep it in place and cover the sharp edge. Repeat the process for each bar and then assist your partner and follow the same procedure. You may need to add more than one area of tape to each bar to keep it in place. Notice tape is placed at the top near the large rim and near the edge of the bar that was folded over. The next step is to wrap the tomato cage with fabric. Open the fabric up completely and hold each side as shown in the photo. Now fold the fabric by bringing your right arm in, touching your left shoulder. Then bring the left arm across to the right shoulder. Now you have folded the fabric in thirds. Straighten the fabric so that you are sure the three sections have the same amount of fabric. Next, gather the fabric in one hand. You are going to tie a knot, so be sure to leave enough fabric at the top. It is okay to leave about three to five inches of fabric above the knot. Spread the fabric out evenly under the knot and locate the opening. Hold the knot in place in the center at the top of the tomato cage. The opening of the fabric should be in the open space between two rods. The fabric should overlap slightly at the bottom. Begin at the opening to gather and wrap the fabric around the bottom rim. You can secure the fabric with a clothespin. Once you have secured some of the fabric, it might be easier to manage if you flip the cage upside down and continue wrapping and pulling the fabric taut. All fabric should be wrapped and tight around the cage. Be sure there are no gaps. Now we are going to prepare the materials for the next step. You will need the needle and thread. You are going to need quite a bit of thread to go around the base of the cage. Cut a big enough piece to be able to double it for added strength. Be sure to knot the thread at the end. You will need to make a fairly large knot so that it won't pull through the weave of the fabric. The next step is to sew the fabric to the cage. For those of you who are familiar with sewing, we will use a whip stitch. To whip stitch, simply insert the needle into the fabric right below the rim. Pull the thread through, taking the needle around the rim and inserting it in the fabric again. The thread will wrap around the rim as you work your way around the cage. Make sure you don't pull the thread all the way through the fabric. Since the weave of the fabric is large, the knot may slip through. You will go under the rim, pull the thread, over the rim, then under again. 
Notice the thread is wrapped around the rim. Continue with the whip stitch until you have gone all the way around. Remove the clothespins as you approach them. Keep going until you have gone all the way around the bottom rim. You may find that you run out of thread before you are all the way around. Don't worry, just knot the thread and continue with a new thread picking up where you left off. When you have gone all the way around, tie a knot in the thread to secure it. Turn the tomato cage so the open end is on the floor. Find the opening in the fabric. Use clothespins to mark it and keep it closed. Four to five clothespins should be enough to keep the fabric together. We will now construct a holder for milkweed stalks. Three one liter bottles work well. They can be any type of plastic bottle. Be sure to follow the curve of the bottle when taping. This will ensure that less of the sticky side of the tape will be exposed for a caterpillar to get stuck. Next, place the cardboard disc on the bottom of the habitat. Secure it to the rim with clothespins or binder clips. You can place the bottles inside the cage through the opening in the fabric. The bottles will hold water with stalks of milkweed. Now you're ready for the monarchs and milkweed.